Welcome to the next lecture on introduction to IPR. This is a very important lecture. So, let us now see the patent registration process. There are several steps. So, now let us see them in detail. So, step 1 is conduct a prior pattern search. This is nothing but state of the art search. So, here we would like to see existing patterns, published pattern, existing patterns, then published pattern, pattern application, scientific literature and database. Gravitation law cannot be patent, Newton's law cannot be patent. Certain things are observation, sun rises in the east cannot be done, right. So, there has to be a product, there has to be a process attached to it. Suppose you say all, all Indians are of this height and this weight, that cannot be patented. Maybe your data is right, you did statistically something, but you are right, but this cannot be done. So, you have to have some idea where in which there is a utility, that means to say there is a function or there is a design or there is a, a plant patent something like that, it has to be like that. So, what you do is first you try to search for the existing patents what is published. Published means there are two ways, one you try to look at those things which are published which has which has expired say for example, crossed 25 years or 75 years in some countries, you that is also open literature. The second thing is which is all under the 25 years gamut. So, two things, so existing uh, patent, published patent applications and then scientific literature uh, and database. So, you will try to search there and you will try to figure it out. Say for example, whenever we, we put a keyword in Google, we try to get some result. Same way you have other search engines also, right. So, uh, the resources for patent search will be United States uh, Patents and Trademark Office. So, UP, USPTO is one of the database wherein which you can search for all the US based patents. Then it is EPO, European Patent Office, EPO. Then it is World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO and uh, Patent Scope, etcetera. These are several search engines which are available. You can do it when the search engine is in public domain or what you do is you pay money to the service uh, search engine people and they search and then they give it to you. For every search they, they, they charge you like 1 dollar, 5 dollar, 100 dollars, 1000 dollars, whatever it is. So, they do a thorough job and then they give it. Next is the scientific literature database. So, this can be uh, PubMed, IEEE Explore, Google Scholar, etcetera, etcetera, etcetera or scientific literature database. You have to search everywhere. And suppose you try to hide and then say no, no, there is no nothing available, so I am going to patent it. So, in when the attorney runs or if their office runs and they find out something, they reject it. Or on top of it, if you have intentionally hid something, then you will be under legal action. So, it is better to be transparent and better to do clean jobs such that you can try to have a patent. And do not worry patent also after 20 years or 25 years or 75 years depending upon the company, it gets into public domain. You hold the right for only a time period T. So, as I told you ethical practice is very important. So, when you do innovation, you should also follow the ethical practices. So, do a proper search and then maybe while searching you might find 3, 4 which are not exact one to one, but there is a small variation then try to capture that small variation and present it in your patent saying that this small variation is the patent of is the IP of my patent, you can do it, right. So, all inventions may not be patentable as per Indian Patent Act, as per Indian Patent Act. So, patentable reports uh, report novelty, non-obviousness and industrial application. 
For example, you try to develop a patent and if there is no industrial relevance, there is no industrial relevance, then there is no point in patenting. Innovation means there has to be somebody to take your idea. So, if there is somebody to take your idea, then you apply for a patent such that that person pays you money as royalty or one time affair and then tries to take it and go. So, if there is no industrial application, then it is not worthwhile patenting. So, uh, in Indian uh, Patent Act, let us see some more uh, things in detail. Uh, in IPA, I make it as IPA, Indian Patentable Act, there are there are certain inventions that are not patentable appropriate cognizance shall be exercised. Very important. So, all inventions may not be patentable. As per Indian Patent Act, there are certain inventions that are not patentable, but appropriate cognizance shall be exercised and you can try to have some, some ownership of the developed one. Step 2 will be prepare, prepare the patent application. Uh, prepare a detailed description of the invention, mentioning the patent specification with drawing and claims. Generally, patent application is not so easy to be filled. You can write it in your normal words, you can try to have something like a research paper publication abstract, then introduction, then, uh, then you try to say what is your experimental procedure, then you try to give a description of your claim, then some of the results, then you have a conclusions. That is how you have it in a piece of paper like which gets published. So, here also what you do is you prepare it in almost similar lines right? and uh, here do not have to worry too much about the, uh, of the results and discussion. You just report the results, you do not have to discuss here. And second thing, when you try to uh, draw a schematic diagram or something, here it has to be in a detailed fashion such that you are trying to say what is your IP there in the, in the product or in the process or whatever it is. So, prepare a detailed description of the invention, mentioning the, the, the patent specification with drawings and claims. So, the results and discussion at the end you should have claims these are my claims you should have. And generally what happens after you write it in, in a common man's word, we always move our, our file to a patenting lawyer. Then the patenting lawyer or his committee of people try to understand it and convert it into a form such that it is understood and accepted by attorney. So, you have firms which tries to write it and then you have lawyers to present it in front of attorney and then the attorney approves so that it gets through. So, you will have firms to write it. It is always better to go through that firm so that they try to vet and write it in a fashion such that it can get through. So, the resources for uh, this is patent application drafting guidelines and manuals of USPTO, United States Patent Office. Uh, you have a uh, trademark office. United States Patent Trademark Office Manual of the Patent e Examining Procedure MPEP EPO Guidelines European Patent Office for Examination WIPO is World Intellectual uh, Property Organization Patent Drafting Manuals etc. are available. The patents drafting softwares or templates they are also there. The patent drafting software tools like Patent Wizard, uh, Patent Easy or template resources provided by the patent office is also there. So, you can use the guidelines or you can use the software.
to draft the patent application. So, the provisional application for inventors in early stage of development. So, in this uh, case like uh, provisional application. So, these are all how to file an uh, application. You also can file a provisional application where in which you have an idea, but you have not developed it, but you had a quick idea you wanted to patent it. For inventors in early stage of development, it secures filing date and complete specification must be filed in 12 months period. So, you can just apply for a very draft patent and then you say that okay, if, if my product can do this, this, that, 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 but I do not have anything to prove, I do not have anything to produce right now, but I will try to complete my application with more details, but protect my idea. So, there uh, we try to file a provisional application and uh, that is valid for 12 months. At the end of 12 months you cannot, then this application gets into public domain. You cannot use it or neither anybody else can use it. So, step 1 is searching, step 2 is preparing the application, step 3 is filing the application patent application, the file the patent application with the relevant patent office. You cannot do it in any office, so it has to be done in the relevant offices. So, the patent office, uh, the patent office website or official website uh, which uh, you can try to get the relevant office details such as where is this office U USPTO, EPO or your nation patent office to access the application form, filing guidelines and fee information. Then it undergoes a formal. So, first step is prepare, uh, then you try to draft, then you try to file. Right? The next one, after you file what happens? After you file it undergoes a formal examination. The patent office performs a formal examination to ensure compliance with filing requirements and formalities. So, it checks the compliance, whatever you have done, whether it is renowned or it is relevant or it is unique. Then the resources are patent office guidelines. It refers to the guidelines provided by the respective patent office for formal requirements and document submissions. So, formal examination is done as the part of step 4. In step 5, substantive examination is carried over. So, here the patent office conducts a substantive examination to assess the patentability of the invention. So, it is like sectioning whatever you have written, is it really worthwhile, how do I go about all these things. So, the resources, the patent office examination guidelines checks the patent office guidelines and requirements for substantive examination. Then the examiner's manual or guidelines which tries to tell the patent examiner's guidelines provide by, pro, provided by the respective patent office such as uh, MPEP for USPTO or EPO for guidelines for examination is done. Once that is done, we do a publication of the patent file. Once the once the applic patent application meets the requirement, whatever substantive examination and uh, in the previous case, you will try to see formal examination, then substantive, substantive examination, then we go for publication. In publication, once the patent application meets the requirement, it is published in the patent office official gazette or database. So, application is published after 18 months of the first filing. So, you file, Ram Kumar files it, they give a period of 18 months and see whether anybody else claims that yes, I have also done it or if it is silent, then they say okay, it is good. So, application is published after 18 months of first filing. An early publication request can be made along with the prescribed fee to publish uh, it in a month. So, that is also possible. So, you pay a early fee. So, you do a fast track and then you try instead of 18 months, you do it in one month and also you can get it. After publication, then comes the examination and the grant. 
the patent office reviews the application and any amendments or responses provided by the applicant after receiving request for examination on the following criteria patentable subject matter novelty non obviousness in invented steps industrial application enabling so all these things if it is there the examination report the office looks into it so then once it is done so then what they do is they try to grant permission so everything happening to patent application before granting of patent is generally called as a patent prosecution so like legal prosecution it is called as patent prosecution so every step is undergone so first you do a, a research a search or a research then you start uh, writing the document then you file the document then they try to um, examine the document then examine and then they try to publish then they try to examine publish you might have corrections you might have this so that is examine and then it goes to grant these are the steps involved so if there are any objections response to objections majority of the patent application will receive some type of objection based on the examination report examination report is in the seventh step right and then once the examination report is done then it is cleaned and the patent is granted majority of the patented application will receive some type of objections based on the examination report the best thing to do is is to analyze the examination report with patent professional and create a response to the objection raised in the examination report so examination report will come then once in the report if it is a clean slate patent goes if it is not a clean slate they ask objections then you start working on the objections along with the patenting professional a lawyer this is a chance for an inventor to communicate his novelty over prior art found in the examination report the inventor and the patenting agent create and send a response to the examination that tries to prove to controller that his invention is indeed patentable and satisfies all the patentable criteria it should be non obvious it should have an industrial application uh, so that is what it is uh, in the patentable criteria clearing all the objections the patent is granted at the earliest generally it takes long time it takes some countries it may take 5 years some countries it may take 7 years some countries it may take 3 years design patent happens very fast because there is not much you claim through a design patent but in a utility patent it takes its own time so if you look into the steps so it is first prior art then preparing the document you can do it then you file the document then there is a first round of rough cut examination to see whether everything is in fine whether you are following the compliance and is there any novelty all these things they try to see then they do a sectional analysis so that is subs, uh, substantive examination will be done and after substantive examination the patent document will be published in public domain it can vary from 18 months to 6 months to 1 year uh, sometimes you also have a fast track where in which you get it in one month then uh, the once everything is done the collection or the collation of all these data is done then it comes for examination and grant in the examination again there is a chief person attorney who goes through it and then he looks into all the objections whatever comes in the public uh, the publication side if there is any objection or something then what he does he does prepare a detailed report saying that your patent uh, is not worth patenting because of the following reasons now what do you do is you take out all those reasons work with your patenting lawyer and then you try to defend it in front of the attorney moment the attorney feels yes there is a merit then your patent is granted predominantly this stage is where you have to work as a team and get it done so next step is 
grant of patent. The patent is given and it says Ram Kumar you hold the patent of this number. They give a locket number or a docket number. Uh, a locket number is given for your patent and your data everything is stored in a in a search engine and it is kept there for maybe 20 years or 25 years and then what happens so now the locket is there so now you have to maintain the locket so for maintaining the locket every year you have to give your maintenance and a renewable charge so for filing you have to give for examination you have to give for publication you have to give for response review you have to give and publishing the grant gets published there also you have to give and then what you do is you have to maintain it for 25 years or 10 years there is called as a maintenance fee and renewable fee renewable is every year you try to pay an x amount such that the company maintains your patent for 25 years so visit the patenting office website to assess information on maintenance fee renewable requirements and deadline to keep the patent in force that means to say alive enforcement and protection monitoring and uh, and taking action against unauthorized use or infringement of the patent uh, uh, patent invention is very important there are few companies who always have their innings by filing case and then try to generate money there are few companies who are legitimately working on trying to find out if somebody has breached what is that and this so then we have resources for it intellectual property legal resource are available where in which you consult with the intellectual property right attorney or a law firm specialized in patent law for guidance on enforcement and protection once you do everything then you hold the patent for 25 years 10 years then you decide to whom to sell the patent whom not to sell sell it on royalty basis and you can also sell it to uh, sell it like a non-exclusive that means to say I do not sell it only to Sham I also sell it to Sita, Rita, Geeta, Meena everybody so that is non-exclusive that all rights you have right so you own the invention for a given time whatever 25 years 10 years 5 years you can use it for to build your own business you want to develop a product out of it you can do it rent it to existing business that is also possible exclude all others from using selling offering the for sale and and importing your invention into your country possible you can completely sell the patent to the other company that is also possible these are all the advantage when you try to do ipr or when you try to do patent all these things you get a benefit we at iit kanpur we have laid a procedure so i would like to go through this procedure so that you can try to have a knowledge about how to file a patent uh, in innovation it is very very important to have a patent protection uh, many a times people have mixed opinion in social opinion why should i have an ip right so i am trying to work for the society why should i make money out of it i said there are so many ways of doing social entrepreneurship you can be a non profit you can be for profit you can have a hybrid so for all these things it is good to protect your innovation so here there is a ipdf form received by ipr associates okay so then immediately what they do is they try to have two things one is complete form one is provisional form provisional form is sent for approval through a coordinator and by our dean signature we try to send it to the attorney for a provisional one so if it is a complete patent you have everything ready the claims are ready the model is ready the demonstration is ready so then what you do is you try to a completed form is there so then you it tries to go to a committee this committee uh, tries to examine whatever you have written it in the format this is a rough cut rough cut right so it tries to look into the format it tries to look into the patenting rights it also tries to look at the industrial application of the patent uh, and then it tries to give a recommendation to the dean saying that sir this idea whatever is if is been patented by mr ram uh, is worth while taking to the next step then what they do is the ipc committee approves uh, approval from the director via the dean is done so that it goes for patent search report uh, by a consultant 
So, we at IIT Kanpur have appointed a consultant. So, this consultant what it does is he will try to get the document from us and then he will try to search it. So, because first you make it, when you make it there is always a possibility that something would have skipped or would have gone under the carpet which would have not noticed. So, then it is presented in front of a committee. This committee looks for business viability, uh, what is the spe special claim he claims and other things. Then after that the committee is approved whatever is the recommendation and then it is gone to the consultant. The consultant searches for all the patent search independently with keywords, with sentences, with similar similarity index, everything he, he tries to do it. Then he generates a report. Then, then what we do is we have a meeting with two people and then these two people try to go through it and then they try to say yes there is a merit in the case. Then it is sent to the attorney for complete patent filing. Right? If the attorney uh, then once it is filed then the attorney says yes then it comes to form 1 sent to the inventor for signature. Then power of attorney sent to the so now the power of attorney uh, is given and the patent is in your name, Ram's name. But now what is happening, since institute is there, so now a power of attorney is sent to our dean saying that okay, this is approved, so now you please take the power of attorney. Why is given the power of attorney is tomorrow our institute, this committee will try to see if there is anybody who has infringed, they will try to find out what is the difficulty and they will try to warn him or they will try to file a suit. So, they will try to sue a case. Then request for examination to the examiners and then what they do is then the response from the examiners come, hearing happens, the patent is filed. Then once the patent is filed, you have annual fee uh, initially which will be paid for 10 years, then subsequent 10 years it will be done. So, here it is very clear, you will have a third party. This third party is the committee of dean. So, they approve, then it goes to IPC committee. Uh, so, they uh, get the approval and then they push it to a patent search. From the patent search, uh, they try to generate a report and the report is pre presented in front of the TEC committee, then in, in front of an IEC committee. So, this is a small committee, this is an institute level committee. This is small or uh, particular to that patent and this is institutional standing committee institute committee and then it is sent to the attorney for complete filing. So, complete filing money is given. So, here if you see send the provisional patent sent to the attorney for doing and again attorney uh, bill is payment. Then form 1 signing power of attorney with the dean, then the request for examination to examiners and then request for FER hearing, grant and then filing. And uh, suppose once it is filed, then this office also tries to link with the rest of the world and look for commercialization. To summarize what we saw in this uh, particular lecture, we saw um, intellectual property IP, which is a legal right protecting human creation and fostering innovation. So, in under this you have copyright. Generally, copyright protects the original work, types like literature, art, artistics, musical and dramatics. The patent tries to safeguard invention and there are three types of patents. One is utility, design and plant. You can have biomedical patent, bio biotechnology patent, all I will put it under utility patent. So, copyright license, it can be creative common enable enables customized permission beyond all rights reserved. The patent license allows usage, production, sale of patent invention. Patent registration happens with a prior art search, detailed application, fil filing, examination and then grant. All IPs which are filed has to be renewed and the enforcement crucial for protection against infringement can be done. So, finally, you have to understand the IP which tries to help in balancing protection and public interest for creators, inventors and for society. So, these are the references which I have followed and uh, I would uh, like to conclude 
by thanking you. Before thanking you, I would like to put a small assignment. The assignment is, assignment for today is, try to see or identify some technical infringement infringement which has happened in patents in the near past. Try to look into the assignment, try to look at what was the mistake, how did a company, see Samsung fought with Apple, a big fight. So, finally, Samsung surrendered or Apple surrendered, look at it. So, what is that document, what was the infringement, what was the mistake they did, how do, how are they caught or whatever it is. So, please try to do this assignment. You have to do some reading and this reading will help you in trying to understand more of IP and IP protection. Thank you very much.